Okay, let's get right into the news. Do you have the Kladbog blade? I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I think Dage put the proper pronunciation on. I'll probably always pronounce it wrong. In Adventure Quest Worlds. Yes, 38% of people do, 24% don't, 5% are working on getting it, and 33% don't have the altar. That's a high percent that don't have the altar. It is a rare drop from the chest or 5k AC, so that's a pretty high bar to entry, so it makes sense. So it seems like almost 100% of people, or not 100, but a large majority of people want it or have it, so that's good. So that's a pull and that could correlate with something in the release tomorrow maybe usually elena won't do a pull for no reason usually it'll have to do something with a future update in the game or uh, just helping with decision making so we could see something that requires a collab bog in a future update pretty interesting dave apparently that word is pronounced dave thanks for the pronunciation <laughs> this evil is a huge fan of the Undead Legion and a pretty rude dude. He's settling his Whack a Makai minigame in the heart of Nolgath's realm next week at AQ.com to give you a chance to win guaranteed. No RNG, new gear. No RNG. Okay. If you look closely at this picture, there's also this right here. Which might just be part of the map, but uh, it wasn't that a recolored version of that, or maybe that's the recolored version. Who knows what the original is? Is a bank house item uh, if you buy the forty dollar package right now. So there's a little piece of information on that. If you didn't see that, just kind of blending with the background. I don't know if that means that they're going to do another bank item. But uh, probably not. Probably it's just a prop that they're reusing the asset for. Alright, so Exalted Harbinger. Which I can pronounce properly and proficiently now. Uh, is a good class. I've been using it a lot off stream to be uh, to farm. I've been farming a little bit off stream. Playing the game more. Actually enjoying it off stream. It's kind of fun. Uh, not having to talk to a chat. I love you chat. But sometimes you distract me a lot. And it gets hard to play the video game. Sometimes. Um... So yeah, I've been playing off stream using Exalted Harbinger. It's a pretty good class. And it got a nerf. Now, it's not exactly a nerf, but I saw statistics uh, that people were testing out on Reddit and it looked like it lowered the DPS slightly. Like very very small. It you might be able to notice it, but it won't really it's not going to it doesn't it didn't change the class in a big way. So it's a very slight slight nerf and it, I think it uh, they did this to keep you alive longer. So the self damage is how it was originally, which I don't know if that's more or less. I'm not actually sure. When I was using it, it seemed like it was pretty decently high, so it's probably about the same. 5% buff to blood price aura. And yeah, so we have swapped the stacking buff. Yeah, so you can read what, what changed right there. All you have to know is Exalted Harbinger changed slightly slightly worse than it was before but it's not really that big of a deal and i really enjoy the class if you don't have it i pick it up for legion tokens worth 2k AC. maybe it it's getting it's actually really close to the dps of uh, void high lord although void high lord you have the insane amount of survivability you don't really have that with this class but you know you, you get trade-offs a lot of dps 2k legion tokens go pick it up in the underworld Alright, A-Ranks tweeted this out quite a while ago. Uh, this, of course, is for St. Patrick's Day, a armor set. There were three different versions, and he had a poll there to vote which version you would like the most. Now, on Reen's character page currently, uh, she has what is probably the final version of it, or maybe they're doing multiple versions. It would be really cool to see multiple versions. It's, it's a possibility, but uh, one version could be this, although we could see different versions. So, keep that in mind. But uh, that's the version that we have in game right now. Okay, so here is, I normally don't cover this. This is bug fixes and stuff, but I, I found a few things that are kind of interesting. So they are aware of the Paragon Great Swords art. Uh, and they said that it was actually done to try to reduce lag on it. If a sharper image could be made without increasing the lag, it will be done. Yeah, okay. I... I don't know if I believe that. I mean, I, I I believe it to an extent. I definitely believe it. 
but I don't think that's all the reason. I think that they did it very quickly. Uh, it looks like it, this weapon looks like it was added in very quickly and with not a lot of care uh, from what I see. If you zoom in on this, uh, there are pixels uh, outside of the outline on the sword. So in a normal sword, so if we switch to like one of the cleanest looking weapons in this game, you see how, well you can't really see because it's a black background, but if you look near the rock, there is a black outline around the whole weapon. That's part of, that's part of Adventure Quest's art style. And on the Paragon Greatsword, you can see it has the same outline, but there's pixels of the same color. So you can just see that they took like a, they took a tool in Photoshop to just quickly take the background of probably a JPEG or like a PNG file. Uh, and then they just took, yeah, and then they put it into the game. So I don't believe that it's solely for lag purposes, they could have removed the animation, which uh, it doesn't have in AQ3D, it doesn't have this electricity animation. They could have removed that if they wanted to reduce lag, uh, but instead they just, they really quickly dropped this into the game and it felt, it feels very rushed from what I can see. I don't know how you actually get an item into the game, I'm not sure about the process, but uh, it does look very rushed from a, a player's perspective. So if we go back to the sign out, so they're aware of that. Also, if you were missing out on the pet that you couldn't find in the birthday shop, it is there now, uh, the UW3017 pet. Uh, that's the Legion Token Farming pet. It should be available in the uh, birthday shop right now. So you can go pick that up if you, actually, it's not gonna be in there. It's gonna be in the, if you click on here, and then you go to, there should be a, yeah, where, one second. Okay, I clicked on the wrong thing. If you click on the date birthday thing, then the birthday shop, under pets, there it is. So yeah, this was AC only when it came out. Uh, it was meant to be seasonal, and you can get it now. It's not as good as the Shogun one, which you can get for 2k tokens, so don't waste your ACs on that if you're part of the Legion already, uh, which you would have to be to use these pets, so you should be before you buy one. Uh, so yeah, you can get this for tokens, and it is faster than this, so keep that in mind but if you do want it just to collect it it is available all right shadow slayer k with a new armor set this i think would be good in the treasure chest maybe uh we need some more items of the treasure chest hint hint although i really do like it uh maybe if they're doing a mech themed release or whatever this is supposed to be it looks like it's supposed to be mech or something robotic related uh looks really nice i love shadow slayer's art style it's very good uh, the blade here, these will be linked down in the description if you want to go follow Shadow Slayer on Twitter uh, to see whenever uh, he posts new art. So that will be on his Twitter. I don't know if it's a he or a she. I'll assume a he based on the profile picture. Uh, but also, more art from Z. Now, I really, I have a blade in AQ that Z made that I really like. And I cannot, I really hope he gets another one into the game. So this, a lot of people ask me when I have this equipped, really badass blade that Z made. And... A brand new one a little late for Deja's birthday although it it looks like he has it almost finished it could technically come out tomorrow I doubt it though uh, it looks really cool so I hope to see it in the game uh, if I had any criticism I would uh, put a background I would leave the jewel there and like maybe erase or maybe like get rid of this part right here and then put a background on that so it's solid right there because it looks like kind of like a weak point like if you hit something with the blade it would snap right there i don't know i i have weird little nitpicks about items like that but uh yeah he probably doesn't want my criticism either it's an unfinished product so that is all of the news i have for this week there's really not a lot i actually waited longer than i should have to upload this and all all that popped up was the uh, blade that z made which is really cool and i can't wait for uh but uh, no official news on the release tomorrow other than there's going to be a mini game in it uh with no rng gear apparently uh which means you're probably just gonna have to farm for it the same amount of time you would an rng item uh but at least you have a guaranteed chance of getting it and it's not based on luck so I will see you guys all tomorrow on the live stream where we check out Deja's birthday part 2, which will include some Nullgas stuff, I guess, uh, tomorrow on the live stream. Uh, that'll be here around 3 o'clock server time. You can check server time by opening up your thing, and it should be behind my webcam right now. Uh, the time uh, right up here, right, right where my mouse is circling. Uh, yeah, 
So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe. We do this video every Thursday. We do a news video every Thursday. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.